Hey everyone, welcome back to Procrastination Population 246, I'm assuming, maybe, I'm sorry I didn't check this morning so I can actually tell you. Uh, today we're back playing the Binding of Isaac Anti-Birth, and like I said last time, I think we're gonna dip into some challenges today. We had a successful Jacob and Esau run. Oops, I don't know how I got here so quickly. Oh, because I went to the bottom, duh. Um, so I think, I don't know if these ones that say coming soon mean there's something we have to do to unlock them. Or if, like, literally it means what it probably actually means, and I'm dumb, that they're coming soon. Uh, so, we're gonna start on two. I don't know why they wouldn't start with, like, hey, here's the first five, the next five will be coming. I don't know why they really like these numbers, but we're gonna go with Scatman. Scooby Dee, Scooby Doo, Scooby Dee, Scooby Dee, Scooby Doo. Um, okay. We are blind, obviously. We are, let's see what items we have. F6? Oh, I can't. Wait. F7 how you do it. Okay, we have the Skatol. We have the charge so that our poop gets back quicker. We have butt bombs. We have E. coli. We have BFF. We have Ston. No, we have lard. And then we have some sort of poop heart item that I've never seen. Uh, seed for this, if you... You don't, can't really do seeds like this, but 1Z4K VM... VXM2. My apologies. So let's see the... Okay. I'm a... Wait, what? Okay, so I'm assuming... I can't, I can't, I can't shoot. I mean, you can see by the blindfold. Okay. So each room, each room we get to drop the poop, which would make sense. That's sensical. Telepills teleported me into my second secret room where we will find some spiders. So each room, okay, I, I somehow got some frames of invincibility there and was able to, oh, devastate. Okay, so these guys just follow me. They do a ton of damage, it seems like. It looks like they drop poop occasionally, too. Also, since we have 9 volt, we occasionally get a charge uh, like this. Um, my main concern thus far, we have no range, obviously, is rooms where enemies are over gaps. I'm not sure how we handle that. <laughs> Uh, I guess we'll find out. Okay, we do have Stompy. I'm dumb. It was, uh, it was Stompy, and so, looks like every one of these, every poop that we can find just gives us more of these guys, so we're just kind of creating, like, oh, I guess we have butt bombs to take care of long-range enemies. Okay. So, that means our butt bombs are more valuable. We're also, like, getting a lot of these things on the screen, and my, uh, I never thought I'd say this, but my PC's having a little bit of trouble running Isaac, um, because we're getting so many on the screen. We got an Ansu's rune. I assume no item rooms, but uh, you know what they say about assuming. Don't freaking do it, you hoser. Uh, let's go in here. Let's check what we got in here. We got sin robes, uh, which at the very least will help preserve our deal with the double chance on the next floor. Hey, if you guys want to like come ride in the sea of poop, yeah, thank you so much. We'll take sin robes for the next floor. We'll drop our drop our load right there. I don't know how we were getting random other poop drops, because I know like if we go into a room quickly. Okay, we need to create some space here. Uh, I have a bad feeling like. I think we're doing fine against this guy. Uh, yo, you guys got it. They're very bouncy poop. Oh god, there you go. Get him in the. Oh, oh my god, mob him. That's the greatest thing I've ever seen. Um, it's very like. It seems very powerful right now, but also I'm worried that against bosses, it's gonna be like a game of just dodging as much as possible. Where do we have to go? I don't think these challenges tell you where you have to go, so I'm just going to assume regular path. Also, I can turdy touch those guys because they can't damage me. Oh, that's a good feeling. Okay, so if we can get something like... I don't know how we would get something like this, and I'm also just going to throw in a bomb because it's going to make this fight a whole lot easier. Um, not that it's not already going to be easy. Yeah, just come into the swarm. Come into the swarm. There you go. We call ourselves the fecal... Matters! Okay, well... Uh, let's get some more poop from these guys because we can. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Replenish our poop army. And we get an HP and tears upgrade. Obviously, the tears upgrade isn't worth that much. But I think HP is pretty valuable on these runs. And we're going to go and take our army down to the next floor. And see what we can do there. We still got two, a two, uh, two revenge hearts buffer so that we don't... Or so we can get a deal with the devil. I'm trying to think. When, without the ability to shoot, there aren't many deal with the devil items I'd even be that interested in. Like, obviously, familiars are pretty good, um, because with familiars... Oh my gosh, they're all friends. Okay. Oh, so it's like Skatol, but with poop instead of flies. Instead of flies becoming friendly, the poop becomes friendly. We get a spirit heart and a key here, which is fantastico. We're gonna get more poop here. It, it seems like this is gonna be a slow one. Like, it, it's pretty hard to orchestrate these guys. I wish I had, like, a whip, like a little poop whip. And just let these guys know where the heck I need them to be. 
because uh, other than that, they're pretty slow, and it seems like we're mostly just at the liberty of whichever ones decide to follow us, and they're trying to, like, squeeze through this tiny little avenue, but we can just, like, kind of hide in the mob, and, like, nothing can get us there, so, um, I don't see this one as being that difficult to run to win. We get the Bible, and we get, I mean, I'll buy the three cent spirit heart because it's cheap, but I don't think I'm going to buy anything else. Yeah, that's probably it. We didn't have an item room on our first floor, did we? If we did, I missed it, but I don't think that we did. Um, oh, that really scared me literally half to death. I am very surprised I did not shriek like a small child there. Uh, that was freaky. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, all the poop that you get from these guys is ridiculous. It's my favorite enemies. <laughs> Look at it. Okay. Oh my god, they just give me... Oh, I guess because we have... That's genius. They give you Skatol, so anytime you would normally run into flies, it's friendly flies that you can then just run into. Alright. Unfortunately, these guys are a little bit more difficult to... Hey, can we work this out, man? Just come... We just want to hug. Yeah, there you go. Come get a hug. Alright. And we're getting money. Alright, we got a Gemini fight. This should be pretty easy, I would think, because this guy just charges us down. And when he's charging us down, the poop is going to be... Ro oh my god, they're... it's too bouncy, though. I got to stay hidden. There you go. You got it. Does the poop ever... I mean, I'm, I'm assuming it's dying eventually. Oh my god, it's like ping pong. Okay. We've done it. We've gotten our deal with the devil. We'll take Jesus Juice, which, juice, which does nothing for us. And we'll come in here. See, like, I'm trying to think. This one is every three rooms we could use brimstone, but I don't know if that even works because we're blindfolded. This room... It wouldn't work because we are blindfolded. Um, also, one of our poops just died. I wonder if it's an overtime thing. If it's an overtime thing, I should probably get the heck out of here. I think probably the set we're running with right, right now, obviously, the pact is great. But without the ability to shoot, the damage and tears upgrades don't really mean that much. Much in trading two regular hearts for two spirit hearts, I don't see as very valuable on a run where we're just really trying to survive. Do we even... I'm trying to think if the alternative path even... Well, that's unfortunate, but at least we got some more poop out of it. I'm trying to think if the alternative path even made itself... I don't think it did, which I think is the game's way of saying, like, hey, you don't really want to go that way. Oh, baby, when you go that way, you make... Okay, this room's going to be obnoxious. Uh, but over time, why are they going so slow? Oh, because Skatol, duh, duh. I pick up Skatol so rarely. It's, uh, it's one of those items you get from the... Uh, or the only item, I should say, that you can get from the... Um, I'm really tempted to just drop a, I'm just gonna drop a butt bomb and make this room end. Okay. Um, it's one of those items you get from a, sh uh, a three skull Monty guy. Uh, and honestly, I just play those so infrequently that I rarely see the effects slash benefits of, of it. All right. If you want to follow me, man, Hey, come with me. The time is right. There's no better team. There you go. Oh, all right. Well, apparently the better team is just running into enemies, which I've been doing a lot in this episode, but luckily... Luckily, in this challenge, it doesn't... Oh my god, this is going to be very obnoxious. Okay, now just open up. There you go, there you go. Yeah, okay. Rooms with those guys are going to be obnoxious. This it, this is it's a, it's this is a pretty novel concept for a, for a challenge. I mean, it's called Scatman, makes sense. Dookie. But um, it doesn't strike me as being... Oh gosh. It does not strike me as being... Really, though? Really, though? Alright, you forced it upon me. Yeah, I'm gonna range up you. Ooh, he almost sucked me in. Um, it doesn't seem me as, like, it doesn't strike me, well, at least I poisoned him in the process. It doesn't strike me as being a difficult, um, a difficult fight, though. I could, it, it's, it's novel, but I don't think it's difficult. I think it's mostly just gonna be time-consuming, and maybe at times a bit obnoxious, depending on the room. Uh, like, especially with those guys that pop up. Alright, we lost a lot of our men there, but we got a Holy Mantle Heart, which means we're probably good for the rest of the run, because if we really taken more than one damage in a single room over the entire thing? I don't think so. And we did not, of course, get a deal with the devil or angel there, so we will just continue. Okay, okay. There's poop here. Oh my gosh, there's poop to be had. Those guys, their their pattern of shooting, like it's always in the same shape, but the angles at which it comes out is oh my gosh, the poops are that, that's I lost my holy man's heart. <laughs> Remember when I said that wouldn't happen for the rest of the run? <laughs> First room, oh my gosh, this is the exact room I was going to allude to, and you know what? I don't think I can do it. I'm sorry. I really apologize for this, but uh, i that's not something I am interested in accomplishing or doing or saying that I did. These guys are also, like, ravaging my, my friends. Come on. Come on, Duke friends. Oh my gosh. 
Maybe running into some of these enemies is probably the right set. Oh my gosh, if we could have the Holy Mantle heart back once per room, we could have ran into an enemy for free. Okay, took a risk there stepping on that heart, but you know what? Sometimes you gotta take risks in life. There you go. This room's taking so long. Oh my gosh, stop taking hits. Um... Took so long that we're getting, uh, I think we got two charges back in that room, which is not good. Hopefully I don't have to revisit that hell room. Oh my gosh, this is going to be obnoxious as heck too. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Alright, as the rooms start getting more obnoxious, and I don't know why the, why the fecal matter is so bouncy. A guy ate rubber or something? Flubber? I have no idea. Um, but as the rooms start getting more and more obnoxious, we're going to have a much more difficult time getting this accomplished. Okay, there you go. Get him. Oh my gosh, you were doing a good job. You were doing a good job with what you were doing. I, I need an orbital. I need an orbital or something. An orbital would make this the world my oyster. Thank you so much. Okay, like I said, not difficult. Although I'm not doing well. Okay, this is the room I was thinking of when I said range is going to be an issue. Because now we're going to have to use two of these butt bombs to reach them. And I don't know what we would do if we didn't have the butt bombs. So uh, let's just not worry about that reality. And uh, oh my gosh, trying to get... How did that one get over there? You got some hops you're not telling me about? Really, though? Um, at least it was a revenge heart, so we did do mass damage to the room. In here, we got a battery charge one of these things, which I don't think I really want to play, but I did it anyway. We got the double charge, so I mean, might as well get an army back. And in here, we're going to find a spirit heart. And for some reason, we... Oh, we have chocolate. That's why. That's why we're dropping the random... I didn't even notice our trinket. Uh, that's why we were dropping random little, uh, random little turds. We've only gotten, like... I mean, we got a nickel from one, but I think we've only gotten two payouts total from... Oh, gosh. Please, with... Please, you don't understand the bounciness. I cannot handle the bounciness. It's unbelievable. Okay. Another charge ready. Cool. There you go. There you go. Another... Nah, continue building the army. Continue growing. It's just like the population of, like, Crassination, am I right? It just won't stop growing. It can't, the, wait, what? What am I trying to say? You're stop growing and they won't stop growing? That's unfortunate. We're going to take damage. I don't know how I didn't take damage there, but we're going to accept it. Tempted to use a bomb in this room, but I don't think it's necessary. I don't think it's necessary. Okay. These guys are just so slow. There we go. And then they bounce, and then they go in a different direction. Different direction. There it is. Yep. Nope. We're almost there. Keep going. There you go. Okay. We'll visit shop here because we got 26 cents. Um... I don't really value any of those that much, so I think I'm just going to hold on to my money. And we'll take our Balls of Steel pill here, which is a fantastic pill to at least know that it exists. This room is going to suck. In fact, throw a Butt Bomb in. Throw a Butt Bomb in, that's one. Alright, if we can get the second dude taken care of, please. Please, though. Oh my gosh, we survived. Okay. I literally can't see the ground because I have so many turtlings following me, but we're going to be fine. There's probably a second secret room here, so that's why I placed that. Plus, we can't reach these guys. Yeah, I don't know what you do on rooms where you just don't have range. We'll take the pills. I can see forever. Bad gas, bad gas, pheromones, and pheromones. I'll take the pheromones in for the boss fight or for an obnoxious room. Yeah, I'll use it on the boss fight. Hopefully, it's a boss that spawns enemies. Because that would be pretty helpful for the, the plan that I'm currently concocting. These guys getting through like a little one uh, one tile wide uh, pathway. Not so great for them. This kind of reminds me of like... Okay, well, he's going to spawn people eventually. There you go. Get him. Alright, that did not last long. This kind of reminds me of like freaking Pikmin or... I don't know. So, uh, freaking maybe Paper Mario when you're... Uh, when you're in the tree with the punies and trying to, trying to guide them from place to place. It's kind of giving me that kind of vibe. Which is really funny. Oh my gosh, it, I wish there was less rubber ball mechanics, but beggars cannot be choosers. Are we going to get a deal with the devil here? No, but we do get basically an infinite source of HP, which is definitely going to increase our survivability, which makes me happy, and I'm going to take the Ansu's rune and go. 12 minutes through four floors, actually a pretty decently quick pace, but I mean, since we're not looking for item rooms, um... That would be why. It's a decently quick pace. I don't know how far we have to go. Hopefully mom fight. I wish there was a way we knew. We got a 50% chance of both here. Uh, I, don't, I don't think it tells us. Uh, I don't think it tells us where we have to go. Uh, we have some curse here. We have curse of the maze, which is just great. A pheromones pill, which is going to actually come in a lot of handy here. Uh, I wish I would have used it a little bit later when everybody was down. And this is actually a great room to get the hangman card on. So I'm glad that we got it. Unless you can... There's like a weird texture thing looking here, but I will use it just to open this. And we do get Guppy's head out of it. 
I think I hate myself for this, but I think the poop is still more valuable. Guppy's head gives us range with flies, but our damage stat is pretty god awful. I think our only we have a 5.86 damage. Now I'm kind of wishing I would have taken the mark. Our only damage upgrade thus far has been, um, uh, I don't know. We're just gonna check in here, uh, and in here we get more pills than the pheromones pill and the balls of steel pill again, which is freaking awesome. We're almost at full HP, and I think I'll just pop on Susu so we can figure out where the heck we're going and try to get there as quickly as possible. Visiting the shop might be something we're interested in, but when I say might, you can read that as not. Oh my gosh, I should probably not step on skulls until after we're done with the room because any more of these like little hosts that I have to spawn than necessary is. Oh, so just a huge drag. All right. At least we're getting bombs. We need some sort of reliable way to get more bombs because we're eventually going to uh, to hit a point. Higher fan. Thank you so much. We're eventually going to hit a point. Also, these guys are right obnoxious to deal with. Uh, we're eventually going to hit a point where, unfortunately, we're going to not have any bombs. And if we have enemies that we have to destroy at range, I don't know how we accomplish that. Basically, um, that, that'll be something we have to figure out on the fly, I guess. Or, yeah, because we couldn't bomb our way out of rooms either, so bombs are like sacred on this run. So I don't even want to visit secret or second secret room. These guys might drop us some HP in the form of a spirit heart. I cannot remember. No, Blue Larry Jr. does, but Green can, right? Am I crazy? No, he doesn't. All right, get, get the army. There we go. Dude, Larry Jr. would be the greatest boss fight of all time. They defecate so much. This room is also great, by the way. We are going to increase the army. I, I, I know there's probably many... Yo, just keep spawning friends for me. Just continue doing that. You don't understand. I want you to continue defecating. Okay, greatest time of my life. And we spawn a host, but that doesn't matter because we're getting the heck out of here. Oh my gosh, someone died. Uh, oh god. Oh god. Just hide in the poop. Oh my god. Tonight we will die in the shade or something. Die in the... I don't know. Poop jokes. Um... Got Monstro here. Monstro's no biggie, especially when he has these flies in the corner, which I can then turn against him for my own use. There you go. You wanna you wanna come over here, man? You wanna come over here? I think you do. I think you do, Mon. And if we can get our army to just like I'm trying to get him up here. They're not doing such a great job, but and there's a lot of bouncing happening. Whole lot of bouncing go okay, that can't happen. That's the scariest thing that's ever happened, but it got the job done, and we have a 50% chance of either deal with the devil or deal with the angel. We get a deal with the angel. Which is good, because I don't feel like getting rid of HP. Oh my actual gosh. I'm going to take Holy Mantle for sure. I wish we could take both, believe me. Um, we're going to take Holy Mantle and go down to the next floor. And I think we're probably pretty set. Holy Mantle means we get, obviously, one free hit per room. I'll see what's in here. Might as well open them up. We get some evil spiders, no biggie, and we get a troll bomb. Um, Holy Mantle, obviously, is a game-winning item. It is Ow. We just took a hit there, but it doesn't even count because of Holy Mantle. Um, now, as long as you don't take multiple hits in a room, our, also our poop army is getting a little dwindling, dwindling just slightly. <laughs> Noticing, we'll take the pheromones pill. It won't continue. Um, gosh. Oh yeah. By the way, Happy New Year, guys. <laughs> I guess I should mention that it is. It is has ticked over to the new year. I know I didn't have anything yesterday, but it was uh, New Year's Eve, and I wanted to spend some time with some friends and family. So I apologize for that. Um, looking forward to the new year for sure. We took our first hit. These guys are little freaking obnoxious. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, looking forward to the new year for sure. We have corn poop. There's different varieties of fecal matter. I mean, of course. Oh my gosh, the bouncing is a little ridiculous. Hermit card. I'm about to just hermit out of here, guys. I'm about to hermit out of this room. We've been in this room for 45 minutes. <laughs> um, and I didn't want to destroy that fly. You guys are the worst. Can they even get up there to touch him? Please, I'm just gonna go for it. I don't care. I uh, didn't take damage. Didn't take damage by touching him. Don't care. It worked. We'll take hermit card. <clears throat> you know what? I'm just gonna hermit out. Um, no more curses for the rest of the run. I think sounds fantastic. Boomerang would be a little bit of passive damage. Obviously, should have been visiting shops this whole time because finding a blue candle or a red candle is pretty much a guaranteed victory, and so I should have done that for sure. God, as we're getting further, these enemies are getting a little tankier and a little bit more obnoxious, so our, our poop army isn't quite wielding the same power that it had before. Also, if I could, like, direct them. Could I use my mouse and direct them? Nope, that's not a thing that can happen. 
Are we done with this room yet? Okay, come out of the come out of the shadows, man. Oh my gosh. Like I said, it's not difficult. We're at full HP. I have holy mantle. I'm just gonna run into him. Okay, we're at full HP, so it's not a it's not a thing of difficulty. It's definitely just more a thing of we lost holy mantle and then I just lost it again. All right, then we just lost five thousand hits. Um, it's not a thing of difficulty. It's a thing of impatience, which, if you know me, I would say a lot of people would describe me probably as impatient. Um, now I don't know if running into the leg while it's down can help us. Like, can I do? Uh, I don't know if I can do. Turdy touch damage. I might be able to. I'm not totally sure. Hopefully this is as far as we have to go, because if it is, then this was a pretty dope... Oh, I've taken a hit. That's okay, because we're going to get more poop from it. If you would like to spawn more flies, the ones that don't hurt me. Yeah, not... You know I'm going to run into you. I'm just going to run into you. Um, we're taking some damage here. It's not good. I'm getting impatient, like I said, which means hopefully... <sighs> hopefully we don't have to go too much further. We don't have to go any further, which is awesome. Um, we'll come in here. Money equals power. Yeah, give me. Yeah, greatest of all time. Um, and we're gonna pick up the Polaroid because we can. And we'll pick up the trophy, and that's gonna be a rune of Kenaz. We got new runes coming up, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it for the first challenge in the Binding of Isaac Anti Birth. Scatman, we did it first time, which is pretty good. Next time we have Turbo, which I've heard is the hardest challenge ever, or at least one of them. So we'll have to see what that one is next time. But anyway, uh, like I said, new year, guys, 2017. I'm pretty freaking excited for what we got coming up. I think you guys will be pretty excited for it as well. And, uh, you know, if the population keeps growing like it is now, uh, who knows where we could end up by the end of 2017. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure you subscribe to become a citizen of Playcrastination today. And I will... What? No, and if you know anybody that you think would be a great citizen, uh, a great play procrastinator, go ahead and send them on by because we would love to have them. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time for some more Binding of Isaac Anti-Birth.